So what do you think makes a good leader and what's your leadership style? Mm. The most important thing for a leader is that they can be trusted. It's important that a leader can inspire, but if you're in it for the long haul and you want people to follow you or run with you and hopefully run ahead of you, which is really the goal, it's, uh, leadership isn't necessarily about uh, followership. It's about people willing to run past you and, and lead on their own. Mm -hmm. So inspiring leadership in others is really the ultimate metric of leadership. And it starts with trust, and then from there, uh, that trust is usually born of good, solid principles, good, honest principles, and then having a plan and being able to inspire others or communicate that to others mm -hmm. so that they are inspired enough to, to lead on their own. I believe those are, are some of the most important characteristics. My personal style is uh, will change. It depends. It's somewhat situational, but it is rooted in trust, thinking big, inspiring people, but also expecting and believing in people that they can do big things and not letting them off the hook. So yeah. I'm going to expect big things out of myself and that we're going to accomplish something important. And I believe that everybody has that possibility. Um, for example, we have launched uh, something we call the Greatness Campaign and the Greatness Project. And this was born out of um, a desire for us to uh, more clearly define who inflection is and what do we want to be when we grow up and what will it take for us to get there. And I just felt it was time this past summer for us to, we were working really hard, we were accomplishing a lot, and I wanted to treat everybody to, to a bit of a break. So I rented a house out in Montauk, and we brought wow. everybody out there for three days, and they were work days. So we went Very out, cool. and it could have been just a total carefree time, or it could have been a business retreat, and I didn't want it to be either of those, I wanted to be both. And so we said, let's have a great time, let's make it uh, fun, but let's also talk about things that really matter and that are important and get to know each other on a more substantial level yeah. and talk about things that sometimes you don't talk about. So in preparation for that event, I asked everybody to uh, tell us what inspires them, people that inspire them, the companies that inspire them, what they want to accomplish in life and what their coworkers can do to help them achieve it. Because mm. the philosophy was, look, if we're going to spend 40, 50, 60 hours a, a week working together, which is more time than we're probably spending with our friends and family, we might as well make it different mm. and do something important with it. And we might as well try to make that environment as productive as possible. And also, if we're going to go to battle every day as a company and as, a, and as people and try to win, wouldn't it be better to do it with 15 people fighting that same fight with you yeah. rather than feeling like you have to go there, go there and fight the battle by yourself? Mm. So the goal is to try to break down those barriers communicate, share information so that we're all on the same page. It's a team, business is best when it's a team sport and isn't life best when it's a team sport too. Yeah. And so we broke down some of those barriers, uh, shared information and from that became uh, just a much closer, more focused company. And we're going through the process of defining um, what greatness is and we've looked at it in a few different categories. So it's, it's the inflection greatness pyramid and the foundation of it is having great people. So we talk about what are the characteristics of great people and what are great coworkers. And then from there comes great work. Because if you have great people, they'll do great work. And if you do great work, you'll attract great clients. And so we actually are defining each of those categories to move our way up the pyramid. And once you have great clients, you do great work and you have great employees, you have an opportunity to have great impact. And for us, we're defining what impact is. For me, it's not just going to be my definition. It certainly is a growing, successful business that creates jobs and careers for people but it also is our ability to impact the community at large. And that's something that's important to Inflection. It's important to our folks. So we have charities that we support. We participate in charitable events. We give money. We have interns. We, we do everything we can to try to look at ourselves, not just as a, a business um, that's just trying to make money, but actually a business that's trying to make a positive impact on our community and mm -hmm. on our clients.